Medullary cystic kidney disease, MCKD, is a rare genetic disorder causing cyst formation in the kidney. Complications include chronic kidney disease and hypertension. This video explores the genetics, pathology, clinical presentation, management, and research in MCKD. Medullary cystic kidney disease is predominantly caused by mutations in specific genes, the most common being MUC1, AMOD, HNF1B, and REN. These genes encode proteins involved in maintaining the structural integrity and proper functioning of renal tubules. The inheritance pattern of MCKD can vary depending on the specific gene involved. For instance, MUC1-related MCKD follows an autosomal dominant pattern, while AMOD-related MCKD can exhibit both autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive inheritance. Understanding the genetic basis of MCKD is essential for accurate diagnosis, genetic counseling, and potential targeted therapies in the future. The pathogenesis of medullary cystic kidney disease, MCKD, involves genetic, cellular, and environmental factors, leading to abnormal cell proliferation and cyst formation in the medullary region. Dysregulated cell signaling and matrix remodeling are implicated. Targeted therapies may slow disease progression. Medullary cystic kidney disease, MCKD, is associated with various clinical manifestations. These include kidney enlargement, nephromegaly, resistant hypertension, proteinuria, and progressive renal impairment leading to end-stage renal disease. Recognizing these diverse features is essential for accurate diagnosis and management. Distinguishing MCKD from other cystic kidney diseases, such as autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, ABCT, and medullary sponge kidney, can be challenging due to overlapping clinical and radiological features. ADPT is the most common inherited renal cystic disorder and is characterized by the presence of numerous cysts throughout the renal parenchyma. Medullary sponge kidney, on the other hand, involves the dilation of collecting ducts in the medullary region. Clinical history, familiar patterns, genetic testing, and radiological imaging play crucial roles in differentiating these conditions. Proper differentiation is vital for appropriate management and genetic counseling. Radiological imaging is crucial for diagnosing and monitoring MCKD. Ultrasound shows nephromegaly, cysts, and parenchymal changes. CT provides details about cyst characteristics, while MRI helps distinguish MCKD from other cystic kidney diseases. Accurate diagnosis and monitoring rely on selecting the right imaging modality and interpreting findings appropriately. Histopathological examination of kidney biopsies plays a crucial role in confirming the diagnosis of MCKD. Microscopic analysis typically reveals cysts lined by flattened or cuboidal epithelial cells, surrounded by fibrotic tissue. Areas of interstitial fibrosis, tubular atrophy, and lymphocyte infiltration may also be observed. Immunohistochemical studies can further aid in identifying specific proteins or markers associated with MCKD subtypes. Understanding the histopathological features of MCKD is vital for differentiating it from other cystic kidney diseases and providing accurate prognostic information. Medullary cystic kidney disease can have significant complications that affect both renal and systemic health. The progressive loss of renal function can ultimately lead to end-stage renal disease, necessitating renal replacement therapies like dialysis or kidney transplantation. Additionally, individuals with MCKD are at an increased risk of developing renal calculi, which can further compromise kidney function. Hypertension is a common complication and requires careful management to prevent cardiovascular complications. Recognizing and managing these potential complications is crucial for improving patient outcomes and enhancing their quality of life. Medullary cystic kidney disease, MCKD, currently has no cure. Treatment mainly involves supportive care and managing symptoms. Controlling blood pressure is crucial to slow down kidney damage and prevent heart problems. Collaborating with various specialists and staying updated with research is essential for providing comprehensive care. Future therapies targeting specific molecular pathways offer hope for better treatment options. Genetic counseling is important for families affected by MCKD. It provides information about inheritance and risks, helps with family planning, and identifies individuals who carry the disease-causing mutations. Counseling supports affected individuals and their families in making informed decisions about their health and reproductive choices. In the section on prognosis and long-term outcomes of medullary cystic kidney disease, we discuss the impact of age of onset and disease progression rate on prognosis. Early onset MCKD tends to have a faster progression and poorer prognosis, while late onset cases may progress slower with better renal function preservation. However, regardless of age of onset, disease progression and complications can significantly affect quality of life, necessitating regular monitoring, symptom management, and psychosocial support. 
Accurate prognostication is important for patient counseling and planning interventions to optimize outcomes. Animal models are essential for studying medullary cystic kidney disease, MCKD, and developing potential treatments. By using various animal models, researchers can better understand the disease, test new treatments, and identify therapeutic targets. Genetic engineering techniques, like CRISPR-Cas9, have improved the accuracy of these animal models, leading to valuable insights for human patients. Ongoing research in MCKD focuses on improving diagnostic techniques, understanding disease mechanisms, and exploring new treatments. Genetic testing, specifically next-generation sequencing, helps identify gene mutations in MCKD. Studying how cysts form in the kidneys identifies potential treatments. Various drugs are being studied in preclinical and clinical trials. Keeping up with research offers better care and the potential for new treatments. In conclusion, medullary cystic kidney disease is a rare genetic disorder that can have significant impacts on renal health. Accurate diagnosis and management require knowledge of its complex genetics, clinical presentation, and imaging features. Ongoing research offers hope for improved diagnostic techniques and targeted therapies. As medical professionals, we must stay informed and work together towards better patient care and the ultimate eradication of this disease.